How's it going? Welcome to the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. My name is Nat and I'm here for you. I am here for you, trying to get back to three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, to cheer you up and give you the keys to the door that will unlock your happiness. And like I say in the beginning of every episode, speaking of keys to the door to unlock your happiness, my book called The Positive Perspective actually has a key on the cover. And if you order your personalized copy um, it, within the next week or so before Christmas, you're going to get a stay positive uh, Christmas ornament and some other Christmas goodies. I'm feeling generous this year. Uh, I'm going to throw in a couple couple of different things. So head over to the website, BePositivePodcast.com. The pop-up will come up. You can get your personalized copy, your Christmas ornament, and some surprises, too. That's right. Uh, I appreciate everybody who is actually ordering them. Uh, I'm getting close to being out of ornaments, but that's okay. I got a few left, so uh, hurry up. <laughs> get your, put your order in. Just like, uh, I can't say the name, but someone just ordered a gift for someone else, and uh, it's a personalized Christmas gift, and I'm like, cool. I like that. You never know how the person's going to take it, though. They could say, oh, that's great. That's uh, It's going to help me so much. Or, what, do you think something's wrong with me? <laughs> but anyway. All right, let me get to what's going on here. Don't forget the text line. I love hearing from you. I want to see your Christmas stuff, your Christmas decorations, if you're uh, Griswolding out like I have. Or if you just have uh, one Christmas tree in your house or ten or whatever, whatever you got. I want to see how you're celebrating Christmas. I know because people listen to this show all over the world. And I, I've got some somebody from Montana, someone from California. They sent a couple of pictures, but okay, I want to I want to see how you guys are celebrating Christmas around the world, good, bad, or indifferent. Because right now in these times, not everybody is having a great life. There's shit going on everywhere in the world. So, how are you celebrating Christmas? Three zero four five zero six three 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 two. Text me a picture and anything you'd like me to say, and uh, and I'll do it. All right. I want to uh, give a quick thank you to Podomatic, who has been hosting my podcast since I started so many years ago on my other podcast. I had another podcast, the Great American Podcast, and uh, they started hosting me there, and they've been taking care of, care of me ever since. And if you want to start your own podcast, you can do it for free. I'm telling you, you can do it for free. You go to Podomatic.com. There's a link in the description. You go there, and you start talking. You put it out there, and then you share it. And then guess what? You're up to 800,000 listeners and followers like I am now. And oh, it's so cool. Uh, I'm just, I'm just so excited. It's so awesome that, uh, and the feedback I get from you guys that my words are actually helping. That's what gets me to this microphone every single time is that, uh, you give a shit. So that's cool. All right. Um, if you want me to talk about something besides what I've been rattling on about, go to the website slash your story. Tell me all about it. I'll talk about it on the air. I have a lot of emails that I have to get to. And I don't know if I'm going to get to it right before Christmas, but I might. I got something from Tina that I got to go through. Uh, Crystal. Uh, let's see. There's a couple other people that uh, I got a whole slew of emails I have to go through and decipher and turn into a show. So uh, give me a uh, be patient. I just finished my uh, decoration. So be patient with me. OK. <laughs> uh, all right. What the heck? What the heck am I going to talk about today? What You know what? How about this? You know how I, I go in the studio and I'm so well planned and I, everything is uh, charted out and uh, scripted out, right? <laughs> never, never going to happen. And you know, my daughter said to me the other day, she goes, Dad, I listen to you because when she's upstairs, she can hear me through the studio door. And sometimes she's like, who is that talking down there? It kind of freaks her out. She says, you just sound so different. And... uh I don't know what it is. There's times I come down here. Most of the time I come down here, fire up the studio, turn on the mic, think of a topic and start talking. And when I get done, guess what? I don't even know what I said because it comes from so deep within me that I really don't have control over it. So it's a perfect time to segue into the name of the show, <laughs> which is stop waiting for the right time. I think the right time to get to the show is right now. But you know, what am I, what do I mean by that? Stop waiting for the right time. You could actually use that phrase in every aspect of your life. Let's break it down. Okay, let's say it's you're thinking that you want to change your job. We'll start with that. But it's not the right time. Not the right time. You got you can't just do that. You can't just step out of the pan and hopefully and get into the fire. You can't do that. You have to totally plan. Everything has to be planned out. And you have to wait for the right time. Wait for the right time. 
Now, I want you to think. We're just going to stick on this job thing right now. But I want you to think back to how many times you've told yourself it's it's not the right time. And you know what? I've done it too. I've told my wife it's not the right time to go to my, my company with this issue. And it's like, you know what? When is the right time? And if you wait for everything to be perfect, every every scenario to fall into your uh, futuristic planned version of what you think is going to happen or come of something, and you're waiting for the right time, if you start stepping out and looking at it, couldn't that be like an excuse because the the fear? You don't want to step into that river of change. You don't want to uh, do something that you're you can't predict the outcome. Because, you know, there's people who have said, you know what, I'm leaving my job. I don't care. I don't have another job, but I can't do this. I need this to, but for my own integrity. I'm going to move on. And they do that. And for a short amount of time, they're like, oh, what did I do? I screwed up. But they stick to their guns and something comes their way and their life changes. Same way with a relationship. You stick with a relationship and you say, I'm going to make this work. I don't care. I'm not going to, I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to be out of it, but it's not the right time. And you're just miserable and you waste valuable moments, minutes, hours, days, years of your life that you're supposed to be enjoying your life, not enjoying it because you're waiting for the right time. So when is the right time? Well, to me, the right time to do something is now. It's when you think of it. And why do I say that? Well, there's a lot of reasons. And the first one that comes to mind is I say that because you know what? Tomorrow isn't promised. Today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. And I say that around the holidays. You like the way I worked that in? That was pretty slick, wasn't it? But, uh, you know, it, today's a gift. Tomorrow, you could be gone tomorrow. And if you don't take the chance and you don't take the risks and you don't do the things in, that you think about that you really want to do in your mind, and you just let them stay in your mind and never push them to fruition or reality, then you're not living your life. And I use that phrase a lot. I find myself using that phrase a lot. That one, and you're doing it right. If you're <laughs> if you're happy and you're content, and you have you know, I don't care if you're rich or middle class, poor, whatever it is. If you sit down, you look in the mirror, you go, I like that person. I like where I am in my life. I like the person that I am and my legacy that I'm going to leave and the the experience that I'm having in this life is one that I want to have. And when you actually acknowledge that, sometimes when you think about that and you try to convince yourself of that, you go, wait a minute, there's this part of my life that I, I'm, I don't want to have. I'm happy, I'm all this, but I don't want this. So that's when you start saying, okay, wh- when's the right time to change that? Now, as soon as you think of it, because how many times do you think of something? I have an, I have ideas all the time. I have a, a notepad next to my bed. I try to ke- do it on my phone, but I never catch all my ideas because my my brain is like a dryer with tennis shoes in it. There's so much going on in there, banging around, and to try to organize it is tough. So when I think of something, I have to say it or write it down or put it somewhere. And that is the right time for me. When is, when is the right time to do it? I can't wait. So a lot of times I look back at what I wrote and what I thought and what I wanted to do. And sometimes it's like, you know, I wanted to do that at that moment. And you look at it again, the, ener- the same energy isn't there. And you're like, well, you know what? I really don't want that. Maybe I want this. And when you, when you can't define exactly what you want, well, that's okay. Because it, this is life. We're here to experience life. And it's with decisions, indecisions, ups and downs, joy, sorrow, all those experiences and emotions that we came here, we chose to come here to experience. And you know what? I tell you what, in my life, I, I think I've experienced just about all of them. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's made me the person that I am now. And the older that I get, the more that I realize that we all have the power to be who we want to be. And I'm not talking about Superman fly through the air. I'm not talking about uh, you want to be uh, the next Brad Pitt, an actor. You want to be a model or you want to be this or you want to be 
this rich person. No, no. It's who you want to be as you, your individuality, because copying somebody else, first of all, is the highest form of flattery for them. But for you, it's not, you're not being you. If you say, oh, yeah, that's who I want to be. I want to be just like them. Well, then you're not being you. So I got off, a little, got off the track there. But the whole idea of not waiting for the right time and jumping on your ideas and your thoughts. And when you have an idea for an invention, jump on it. You have an idea for a, a, a song. Just start picking it out, writing it, whatever, singing it, humming it. You never know what's going to come out of it. You want to write a poem, do that. You want to learn how to, uh, you know, surf at 60 years old, 70 years old. Do it. If your mind comes up with it and you think about it and it's like, you know what? You're like, wow, that would be great if I could do that. Stop yourself right there and don't let yourself say, if I wasn't so old, if I wasn't so broke, if I wasn't fill in the blank. Stop yourself before you say that. And take action and stop waiting for the right time to do it. Because the right time is now because tomorrow isn't promised. And you know what? I think that would make a great bumper sticker or shirt. The right time is now because tomorrow is never promised. Well, when you really think about it, it kind of puts everything into perspective. Because if you wait for the right time, you may never get to that you never, may never get to it. may never get to the right time because you wait and then you die. And it's like, oh, you didn't do it. You didn't follow through with the thoughts and the emotions and the things that you wanted to do. And shit, I want you to know that that's why you're here to do these things, to experience these things, to bring these thoughts and these conscious emotions and vibes and thoughts, bring them to fruition and, and materialize them in your world with your thoughts. And you, I mean, people that say, you know, my thoughts don't create things. Really? Well, where you are is a result of how you think and who you are around and what, you know, what you've grown up with and what you are exposed to and what you let into your life. And it's a hundred percent. The word you is every, is in every one of those sentences. What you let into your life, what you grew up with, what you accepted, what you felt. It's all you. So where you are in your life is the result of your decisions and that you've made. So now at this point, is there something in your life? I'm asking you as a listener, is there something in your life that you keep saying, you know what? It's just not the right time. It's not the right, it's not the right time to say this. It's not the right time to do this. Not the right time to make this move. Not the right time to ask them this. It's not the right time. And you know, and, and think about when you told yourself that, when you said that. And you, and it's going through my mind exactly when I said it, because I'm just like you. I'm just, we're all the same. We're sharing a consciousness here. You know, the more people that come together with this and share this energy, the more we share the consciousness and the positivity and the unity and the strength by, through, through positivity. <laughs> telling you it works and uh if you're still listening after what four and a half years on the air here i love you and i appreciate you doing that so the right time is now because tomorrow isn't promised so do that stuff make that move step into that river of change look that fear in the eye and step past it because remember we create the fear when you're afraid of change, we're all afraid of change. You don't think you're special because you're afraid of change or you're different. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? Nat could do this and uh, it's okay, but I'm afraid to make this decision. Guess what? I'm afraid to make decisions and sometimes don't. So I'm not way up here on uh, some pedestal. I'm right here with you because there's things that I want to change about who I am. There's things that I want to stop waiting for the right time. <laughs> you know, even though there's a lot of arguments for waiting for the right time, are they excuses or are they legitimate reasons? Well, that's where you got to, you know, think about that. 
and I had to stop there for a second because now I'm thinking about my situations. You know what? Is, <laughs> do I have legitimate reasons or is it just uh, what I'm creating in my mind? So, uh, you know, I'll let you know how I progress on that. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay, man. I appreciate you guys listening to the show. If you didn't already know uh, from the email that went out, if you order a personalized copy, you get a free ornament and some other stuff. If you just want to get a Christmas ornament, send me a message. I'll figure out how much it costs to ship it to you. You just pay for shipping and you can have it. Um, I got a couple, and um, they, they look great on my tree. So if you want one too, let me know. Text me on the text line 304-506-3332. Remember, I want to see your Christmas decorations. I want to see how you're celebrating Christmas. I want to see Christmas in another country, in another culture. Someone, I get text messages from people from all over the world. I want to see some pictures of all over the world. So if you're listening in some other country other than the U.S., I really want to see Christmas from where you are, from your perspective. All right. Don't forget, uh, there's merchandise up there. I got, I'm coming up. I got a new uh, item that should be on the store within the next couple days. I'm hoping to get it out before Christmas uh, so you can get it in time for Christmas. Uh, it's a, a shirt that says stay positive in uh, like 20 languages. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, the designers are working on it as we speak. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I know the guy. I know the designers. That's it. My name is Nat. Hit the text line with your Christmas pictures, 304-506-3332. Hit the website. Don't forget the positive perspective available on Amazon or your personalized copy through the website with your Stay Positive Christmas ornament. My name is Nat. This has been the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. I think we can all do a little bit better. I'll talk to you later.